a little bit extra, extra secure. Do you have any extra feeling about going to Chicago starting out? No, not really. Like I said, I have a confidence in all 11 guys, so uh, we're just ready to go play. Getting back to the weather, can you remember the worst, sloppiest conditions that you've ever played in? Uh, I have to say, uh, for the coach game last year, that was probably one of the wettest games. And uh, that's one thing we stress is about the ball and taking care of it. It's so one of those things where you look at it and go, we got to play in this? Oh, yeah, definitely. <laughs> it was like, man, it's going to be a sloppy game. So we just got to be, be on our A game. Do you change gloves, change plates at all? Uh, it, uh, last year I had a visor, so we had to take that off so we could see the ball. But uh, definitely had to change gloves, try to get the uh, wet gloves to help us grip the ball a little more. Last one for me. What's it like after having this locker room as a sanctuary, pretty much, having us back in here, <laughs> hanging with you guys? Uh, it's definitely, last year we didn't have it, uh, so I wasn't used to it, but... Uh, uh, because of COVID, but now uh, it's something I have to get used to, definitely. Fuck. Uh, nah, it's way above my pay grade, man. I just, I want to be 11 in the huddle to get that call and go try to do the job. Thank you with your online coach. Maybe it'll have a more of an offensive line kind of story. Oh, yeah, I'm sure, I'm sure he, um, more than anybody knows the, the pulse of, the, of his room and know what guys like and what they don't like. And um, if he, you know, creates a game plan to fit that, then, you know, it's out of our control. But honestly, you know, a lot of it just comes from what we're looking at that week. And, um, you know, some weeks it might be a job that's not as pretty as, as the week before. And it's just how it goes playing off at the line. Just talking about just how big the is. And that's part of it. You just have to kind of pick what's going to work the best. Right. When, when does that catalog get home? I mean, in especially in week one, is it hard to come up with the catalog because we don't really know what the, the opponent is going to be doing? Well, I mean, you know, we know, you know, what they generally do. Or we know what scheme they run. You know, of course, we don't know what their game plan is. We can only, you know, watch film and make an educated guess on what they like to do. Um, but you know, that catalog doesn't go in there every week. So yeah, we might have uh, 100 and some runs, but we're not going to install 100 runs every week. You know, so it might take 20, 30 out of those runs is more effective against that team. And that's what we roll in some week with. But you know, you got to be on it with Cal because uh, he might see something at halftime and go pull out a call from training camp. And that's, you know, that's the yeah, that, that's surprise factor about it. But for the most part, you know, we kind of know what's coming and we got the chance to really hone in on a specific group of players for the week. How often does he do that? Do you guys at halftime? He'll do it, at least. <laughs> yeah, he, he going to do it. I mean, probably not every game, but probably every other game. <laughs>